Gaming Bull presents 15 of the most terrible water levels. Water levels, you know them, you've probably grown up with them. All in all, they're fairly wretched. Not all water levels are badly designed, but by the virtue of their gimmick, they can be incredibly frustrating to play through. Let's go ahead and take a look at 15 terrible water levels in video games that'll make you question life itself. Probably. Orange Ocean, Kirby Superstar. Kirby Superstar is easily one of the best games ever made, no question. But Orange Ocean, a level in Revenge of Meta Knight, is kind of annoying. It starts off with Kirby underwater and the game auto-scrolls, which is an immediate tilter. Not only is Kirby slower and unable to use most abilities, but you also have to dodge cannon fire. Just make sure you don't die to the auto-scrolling because obviously there's a section where that can happen. Hanging Waters Echo the Dolphin, Defender of the Future the original Echo the Dolphin had these water tubes, which were pretty terrible even by the standard of water level terrible. So of course, Echo the Dolphin, Defender of the Future, decides to pay homage to this with Hanging Waters. Maybe it's the 3D space or the overall difficulty of Defender of the Future, but the water tubes somehow feel more aggravating than before. Coral Canyon Crash Bandicoot What's worse than a water level that makes your character swim? one that puts you in a small, easily breakable submarine. Coral Canyon in Crash Bandicoot is one such level, full of enemies that you won't see coming and small obstacles that can instantly destroy the submarine. Get used to it though, the level itself is pretty long and can take a while to get right. Vajir, World of Warcraft Cataclysm. To be fair, Vajir is a pretty nice looking level even if it's underwater. However, when it was first available in Cataclysm, there were a number of annoying bugs to deal with. Not only that, but mobs could seemingly aggro you from every angle. The quests weren't very well explained, and you're better off going to Mount Hajal anyway, since it's more fun and has good gear. Did we mention all of those teases of battling an underwater horror had no payoff? Blow in the Dam, Duke Nukem Forever. A pretty horrible game in its own right, Duke Nukem Forever outdoes itself by also having a pretty terrible water level. Not only are you moving from one bubble stream to the next, dealing with octobrains in between and trying to make sense of the confusing layout, but there's also the energy leech as a boss. We'd say this is the most irritating part of the game, but we're not willing to go back and check. Torvis Bog, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. It's already bad enough that you need to go through several fights in this section without being able to save, but Torvis Bog is even more annoying for its lack of visibility and proper movement underwater. Don't forget to save after the third lock or else dying will result in playing through the entire portion all over again. At the very least, this level had some good music. Level 7-4, Super Mario Bros. 3. Underwater levels in the 2D Mario titles haven't always been terrible. Most are just kind of hard to get used to since the movement has changed so significantly and there's next to no way to defend yourself against enemies. Level 7-4 in Super Mario Bros. 3 doesn't take prisoners though. On top of being an auto-scrolling level, you have to swim through horrifying Gelectros, avoid a blooper nanny and her tiny bloopers, and other assorted nonsense to survive. Water Dam, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NES. Okay, yes, the Technodrome is technically the toughest level in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the NES. However, the Water Dam is still pretty damn traumatizing. Not only are you navigating through tightly packed sections with killer seaweed, but you have a time limit. It also doesn't help that the controls aren't the best. So while Technodrome may technically be harder, the Water Dam could put you off of even getting there in the first place. Atlantica, Kingdom Hearts 2. What could possibly be wrong with Atlantica, Little Mermaid's world in Kingdom Hearts 2? Not only is Ursula much easier to fight than the first game, but the level itself is full of QTE sing-along sequences. Well, actually, there's the problem. Pretty much everything in this world is a QTE sing-along. It's pretty boring, and for as difficult as Ursula was before, the fight here just feels like an absolute joke. Down the Tubes, Earthworm Jim. The only saving grace about this level is that the boss isn't tough, otherwise down the tubes can be downright torturous for some. Just like Crash Bandicoot's Coral Canyon, Jim is stuffed into a submarine that will shatter when too much damage is taken. Hitting any walls will cause damage, by the way, and the annoying controls will ensure that you hit those walls. And of course, you're given only 99 seconds of oxygen to navigate the entire level. That is if you skip the secret passage that has more. Manon Underwater 
Knights of the Old Republic. Some games thankfully don't give you submarines to navigate underwater. Some areas like Manon Underwater in Knights of the Old Republic offer diving suits instead. You'd think that's better, but movement is slowed to a crawl as a result. So not only are you navigating this large section with hindered movement, but also dealing with annoying pests like Ferrax and Sharks with a sonic emitter that only sometimes works. Nino Ruins – Mega Man Legends 2 Oh, look, another underwater level that completely slows down your movement. Nino Ruins in Mega Man Legends 2 checks off all of the annoying boxes. It's long, boring, full of irritating enemies, and just tedious overall. The music may be good, but that can only carry your sanity so far. Labyrinth Zone – Sonic the Hedgehog I'm not someone who thinks Sonic the Hedgehog should be all speed all the time. Still, Sonic games tend to have some of the most annoying and plodding water levels out there. Some like Water Palace and Sonic Generations aren't too bad, but Sonic the Hedgehog's Labyrinth Zone easily takes top prize. On top of precise platforming, careful movement, and annoying enemies, you're constantly haunted by Sonic possibly drowning, complete with terrifying music. Aquas, Star Fox 64 Ah, the days of Star Fox 64 with its varied stages and excellent arcade shooting. Well, except for Aquas. This is the level where players control the Blue Marine, which is a submarine. Cool, except the Aqua stage is poorly lit and it's way too easy to bump into enemies. Granted, this is a hard route mission, but it somehow manages to be frustrating and dull throughout. Jaws Unleashed Forget the fact that Jaws Unleashed has terrible controls, awful graphics, way too many bugs, stupid objectives, and a bad camera. Forget that it has meters for tail whipping and headbutting enemies. Set all of that aside for a moment. Since the game has you playing as Jaws, the entire experience is played in the water. Even if you can't eat the people, that's a serious nope on top of everything else. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.